Hey everybody, check this out. Today was an amazing day. We had a powerful word. We learned about the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Can I just make it plain? Everything that you need, it's already on the inside of you. The power that you need, it's on the inside of you. The strength that you need, it's on the inside of you. So do me a favor. Go back and check out that message. Go watch it on YouTube because you don't want to miss it because what God wants to do through you, it's in you and it's got to get out. Will you just lift those hands all over this house? Roy said, feel us. How many are ready to be filled? How many want another outpouring of the Holy Ghost? How many want another release of the Spirit of God? How many want a release of the Holy Ghost and power right here? We went to a place in the 930 service. Listen, and there's a glory that's resting in this place. And if you just slip your hands up to heaven right here and begin to open your mouth and begin to release a sound, something's going to break loose up in here. Something's going to be released up in here. And God's going to do something fresh and new in your life. When I count to three, open your mouth and release a sound right here. One, two. Two, three, come on, Zion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Roto, Rokoma, Setolebea, Kando, the Moho, Rianda, the Moho, Rianda, Bahadi, and the Beho. We ascend the hill of the Lord. Rete, the Lebeando, the Moho. Oh, come on, I got to hear you right here. I got to hear your transformation. I got to hear your transformation. I got to hear your transformation. I tell you to slip your hands up right here and let a sound come out of your belly. One, two, three, come on! Oto badia kato reko ata liando leda sheto lebo leda lima sheto ramba leke leto 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 leto. I tell you just to grab your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, the Holy Ghost is getting ready to release a fresh anointing. Oh, look at that neighbor say, neighbor, the Holy Ghost is getting ready to release a fresh anointing. Now lift that neighbor's hand up and open your mouth and go crazy. Come on, church. Come on, church. There's a wave right here. There's a wave right here. Get your hands up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow on us. 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 Come on. Tell him to blow. Come like a wind. 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 Just look at two or three people around you and say, this is not a regular service. No, 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 no. Look at somebody else and say, this is not a regular service. And tell them, say, you got to get your spirit ready. Because God's getting ready to make a deposit in you. Look at somebody and say, God's getting ready to make a deposit in you. If you're ready to receive, I dare you to slip your hands up to heaven and say, I'm ready to receive of you, Father. Now listen. Listen, I want you to stay standing. I just need 10 minutes. I got to lay some groundwork. But before, before we share the word of the Lord, I want you to understand one thing. God didn't give you a regular man. God didn't give you an average pastor. God gave you a leader of leaders. God gave you a prophet 
to prophets. He gave you an apostle to leadership. Hear me. Listen to me by the Holy Ghost. Whatever you do, honor the man of God. Don't treat him as common. Don't treat him as regular. Don't engage him in a familiar place. But engage him as God's servant at God's mouthpiece to you. Will you help me celebrate one of my closest friends in the world, the Apostle Pastor Xavier Jones in his absence. Come on. Oh, y'all could do better than that. Y'all could do better than that. Listen, while you're remaining standing, will you help me celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Holy One of Israel? Oh, come on. I said, help me celebrate Jesus. 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 Now listen, you may be seated. Give me a few minutes. I need a little bit more keyboard. If you could turn Lance up just a little bit. Listen to me. Uh -uh. Get your Bibles. Go with me to Ezekiel 37. I just need a few minutes. And then we're going we're gonna to activate and lay hands today. Look at somebody say it's Pentecost. Look at somebody else say it's Pentecost. Look at somebody else say it's Pentecost. Ask your neighbor, say, do you speak in tongues? Tell them, say, if you don't speak in tongues, by the time you leave here today, you're going to be filled with the Spirit of God. I honor God for the set leadership of this house. I'm going to acknowledge all in a second, but I got a flow in the Holy Ghost. There's a, there's, a, there's a well, there's a well that wants to come up out of your belly. I dare you just to grab your neighbor's hand and just loose that well right there. Come on. If you got the Holy Ghost praying tongues, if you got the Holy Ghost praying tongues, loose that well. 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 Oh! Oh! Loose that well. Loose that well. Loose that well. Loose those tongues. Come on. Don't even go second. Loose that well. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let the river flow. 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 Come on. There's a river flow. Then let it out. Let it out. Let it. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We loose the river. We loose the river. We loose the river. Ask the Holy Ghost, change my language. Give me the language of the Spirit. Change my language. Give me the language of heaven. Let heaven flow out of my mouth. Let heaven flow out of my mouth. Come on, come on. Stir that river. Stir that river. Stir that well. Come on, thirty more seconds. Thirty more seconds. Yo, to, 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 to. Yo, to, 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 to. If you need a fresh filling of the Holy Ghost, stand on your feet and lift your hands. If you need a fresh filling. I need a fresh outpour. Get your balls so cold, Rebecca. Lila Namasha. Yatta Lama Hoko. I dare one of the ministers and leaders get with one of these people that's standing. Activate. Oh, Tobasha, Tobasha. Your Toto, 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 Toto. Rabbani, Akatana, they hit. Fill them up. Fill them up to overflow. Lay your hands in their belly. Lay your hands in their belly. Command the release. Come on, the day of Pentecost, they're on one accord in one place, and they begin to speak with tongues. Come on, Rakatiate, Labashaka, Rakatale. Come on, let 
the river out. Let the river out. The river of the Spirit of God. The river of the Spirit of God. The river of the Spirit of God. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. He's a river, let him out. He's a river, let him out. He's a river, let him out. He's a river, come on. people that are standing, get those hands up, Abashaya. Get those hands up. We're going to pray one simple prayer. If you want the spirit to fill you to overflowing, get your hands up. This is Pentecost. We're going to flow. We're going to flow and teach at the same time. Get those hands up. Leaders, if there's somebody standing, lay hands on them. Leaders, just to send people of this house. And pray this prayer. Say, Father, Father, today I need you to fill me to overflowing and change my language. Say, Father, today I need you fill me to overflowing and change my language and change my language. Now when I count to three, just open your mouth and let a sound come out because he's about to change your language. Father, I decree and declare as you did on the day of Pentecost, descend in this room and change your language. I decree and declare, be filled now with the spirit of God and power. Be filled now. One, two, three. Come on, church. There it is. 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 Oh la 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 Come here. Get those hands up. There it is. A fresh flow. Oh! Come on. Be feel. Be feel. Be feel. Be feel. Be feel. Oh! Come on, church. Open your mouth. There's a wind coming. Oh, there's a wind coming. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. I got to get you somewhere first. Yet the Hoya. Yet the Hoya. Yet the Hoya. Yet the Kesheya. Yet the Baba 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 Baba. Yet the Baba Baba. Now everybody on your feet. Oh, to, to, to. Get on your feet. Lay hands in your belly. And say, out of my belly shall flow the river of the Spirit. Say, out of my belly shall flow the river of the Spirit. Say, out of my belly shall flow the river of the Spirit. Now, when I count to three, open your mouth and say, let the river flow. One. Two, three, come on. Oh my soul. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let the tongues flow. We proud the well. 
We plow the well of the Spirit. 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 We plow the well. We the well. We the well. We plow 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 the be filled. Let it out. 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 Come on. Oh! Show. 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 Yeah. Let go. Shut up. Let it go. Rock out on the Now, I want you to get those hands up in the air. And when I count to three, I just want you to open your mouth and let us shout out. Because there's a wind getting ready to come through here. On the day of Pentecost, there was wind, there was fire, and there was smoke. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm about to sweep through this place. Yet told that cash that tell the whole. But when we all shout at one time, on one accord, the wind of God will come. Yet they make a shot to the Let them hold send them higher. When I count to three, let us shout out. And the wind is coming. One, two, three, shout! That's it. Open your mouth and shout. 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 Open your hole. Yet of the cotton of the Asia, yet of the Kiata of the Holy, Rena de Akato. Now pull your neighbor down. Sit down for five minutes. Pull him down for five minutes. Watch this. I need it. You had to come up first. See, I, I didn't come out of a whole Shabbat. That's right, leave them, those that are on the floor, leave them on the floor. The Holy Ghost is doing a deposit. Look at somebody said there's a deposit. Watch this. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Press on in, 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 press on in. I knew to this, I'm true to this, baby. Yakatala Bahate, Andalabaho, Otoba Bahaya. There's going to be a certain temperature for a deposit. I tell you, just right there, open your mouth one more time and let us sign out. Come on, one, two, three, let it out. to me. Hear me about the Holy Ghost. Most people, most people, listen to me. Give me three minutes. Most people stay at Pentecost just to feel good. What do you mean? They only want to speak in tongues to feel good. The tongues is not just to make you feel good. Feeling good is the first dimension. Why does he give us the power? He give us power to do an assignment. Look at, look at somebody say an assignment. Look at somebody say an assignment. See, the, the reason why the Holy Ghost wants to fill you is the Bible says he want to make you his witness in the earth. Whatever industry you call to, you're called to turn that industry upside down. Look at somebody say upside down. Can I prophesy to you today? Those of you that are in this room, when you take this Holy Ghost to your industry, you're not going to fit in your industry. God's getting ready to make you the number one in your industry. He's getting ready to take you to the top. Look at somebody and say, I need the Holy Ghost. Look at somebody else and say, I need the Holy Ghost. Now watch this. Watch this. The Lord said, transformation is a place of an outbreak. Look at somebody say outbreak. outbreak. Look at somebody say an outbreak. outbreak. See, you thought you came to a regular church. You thought you came to a regular ministry. 
what, what is the definition of an outbreak? An outbreak is a sudden violent start of something that is unexpected. Catch this. A sudden violent start. See, let me tell you something. People come out, well, you know, it don't take all of that. I'm going to tell you something. You can sit there and be cute. You can sit there. But when the Holy Ghost descends, it ain't about your makeup. Because, see, if you got real good makeup, you ain't worried about it running. Come on here, somebody. Huh? You ain't worried about your hair? Come on here. You're not worried about none of that. Why? Because it's a violent, sudden thing. Look at somebody says it's a violent, sudden thing. When COVID hit, when the outbreak of COVID hit, watch this. It was unexpected. Can I tell you? God is getting ready to release you into unexpected places. To do unexpected things. God's getting ready to give you the anointing to go in your industry and turn it upside down. God's getting ready to give you the anointing to go into your school, to go into your business, to go into your place of work and cause a disruption. I don't care what's been going on before now. Once you get there, you get ready to turn that place upside down. I dare you to jump up and hit three people and say, I'm about to turn it upside down. Hold on. I dare to look at somebody and say, no more normal. No more familiar. Look at them and say, no more normal. No more familiar. When I leave this place, I'm carrying a fresh anointing for fresh demonstration. I don't want what I had before. I don't want the Holy Ghost just to speak in tongues and dance. But I need this Holy Ghost in the boardroom. I need this Holy Ghost in my office. I need this Holy Ghost to give me revelation. I need this Holy Ghost to give me intel that nobody else has. I dare you to hit three people say, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So, hold on. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what is going on? This is Ezekiel 37. He said, I'm raising up an army. Look at somebody say, an army's coming. This is not a church. This is an army of an outbreak. This is not a church. This is an army of an outbreak. This is not a church. This is an army of an outbreak. They're going to say, there's a transformation person. There's a transformation person. There's a transformation person. Beware, beware, beware. There's a transformation person. Because everywhere you go, you're going to turn it upside down. Flip it inside out. Why? Because the power of the Holy Ghost is going to woke up in there. You're going to see miracle signs and wonders. You're going to see people healed. You're going to see people delivered. I dare you to shake your name and say, I'll break, I'll break. Hold on. There's three keys to an outbreak. Look at somebody say, number one, there's revival. Hold on. Watch this. Old traditional church says revival. We call in a guest speaker. We have three or four days. We let people get on the altar. No. What is this revival? This revival is a fresh outpour. Come on. What is this revival? This is a fresh awakening. Some of you in this room, you got gifts. You have abilities. You are sitting on it. You trying to wait, to wait for somebody to lay hands on you. You supposed to be laying hands on people. You supposed to be raising the dead. You supposed to be healing the sick. Don't you know when you walk into the hospital, you supposed to empty the floor. See, we, 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 we got church Holy Ghost. The day of church Holy Ghost is over. We need real Holy Ghost that will woke up in, that will woke up in Baptist Hospital, that will woke up in Jackson. Say, get up out of that bed in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. Look at somebody say, I want real Holy Ghost. Hold on. This revival, number one, is to awaken the gift that's in you. Look at somebody say, every gift is getting ready to be awakened. 
listen to me. Some of you have been called to the prophetic. Some of you have been called to working of miracles. Some of you have been calling to discernment of spirit. Some of you got healing in your hands. Listen, you don't need Benny Hand. You don't need a televangelist. Uh, the person that's sitting next to you got the power to heal. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, neighbor. are you sick? Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, are you sick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anybody sick and anybody got any pain, stand up right now. Any pain, stand up right now. Stay on me, Lance. Huh, look at them, look at them, look at them. Say, are you any money among you sick? Look, where the sick people at? Get those hands up, get those hands up if you're sick. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm not going to lay hands on you. The people around you are going to lay hands on you. Listen to me. This is not the day of the celebrity preacher. This is the day of the church. This is an outbreak. One by one, we can lay hands on the sick. And the sick got to recover. We can cast out demons. Every person that's standing next to a sick person, lean over and lay hands on them now. And command them to be healed. Let touch them. Let touch them. This is revival. Lay hands on them. Speak to that body. Speak to that pain. Speak to that sickness. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Now somebody clap your hands and say it is so. Shakotoma, there it is, there it is. I feel it breaking. Spirit of infirmity, break, 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 break. Spirit of infirmity. Watch this. Hold on. Let me tell you, real revival is not centered around a man. Real revival is centered around hungry people. Let me say that again. Real revival is not centered around a man. Real revival is when hungry people gather and say, we want more, Lord. Send your glory. We want more, Lord. Send your power. We want more, Lord. Send your anointing. I don't care who preach. A donkey can come up here as long as the glory come. 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 If you want the glory, I dare you to jump up and say, send your glory. Hold on. Watch this. Second, second key to an outbreak. Look at somebody say reformation. Look at somebody say reformation. What does the word reform mean? The word reform means to enhance, to improve, and to make better. Look at your neighbor say enhance, improve, and make better. Look at them say this outbreak, wherever you go, you're going to make it better. I don't care if stuff is falling apart. you got the anointing to resurrect. Things can be dead. You can go into a dead business and command that dead business to get up. You can go into a dead marriage and command that dead marriage to get up. Listen to me. When the anointing of the reformer comes on you, nothing can stay the same. Hear me. You're not getting the Holy Ghost just so you can go back and live the normal life. No, you're going to be a reformer. You're going to improve it. You're going to enhance it. You're going to make it better. When you walk in, you're going to make it better. When you do business in, you're going to make it better. Can I prophesy? Over the next seven months, everything you touch is becoming better, better, better. Better, better, better. Better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. I dare you to shake your neighbor and say everything you touch is becoming better. Now 
watch this. The last key of, a, of an outbreak, look at somebody say revolution. Look at somebody say revolution. Now, what is a revolution? It's a radical change or a radical overthrow. Can I tell some of y'all something? You ain't ready for a revolution. Why you not ready? Because you stuck to normal. You stuck to that familiar. Can I tell y'all something? What you've been experiencing in the last 30 days wasn't warfare. You thought it was warfare. No, it's not warfare. God is saying, I'm making you uncomfortable to bring a change. That's why I don't feel right in your office. That's why I don't feel right at home. That's why you agitated. That's why you on edge. That's why it feels like your nerves is going crazy. You're not going crazy. God is saying, listen, I'm trying to detach you from where you've been so I can connect you to your future. I'm trying to bring a revolution. I'm trying to bring a radical change. And the only way you're going to get a radical change, you got to overthrow some stuff. There's some things, some people and situations you're going to have to let go of. There's some stuff stuff you're going to have to disconnect from. Look at somebody say revolution. Look at somebody say revolution. Can I prophesy? This church is getting ready to take revolution around the world. Y'all are going to disrupt, disturb, disconnect the kingdom of hell. Did you hear what I said? You get ready to disrupt, disturb. Everything that the kingdom of hell has done. Look at somebody say you are revolutionist. Can I tell you something? The anointing that's coming on you now is not the anointing of normal. Hallelujah. Oh, no, the Look at somebody said no more normal. No, no, no. Look at somebody said no more normal. No, no, no. Hold on. What is this anointing? This anointing that's getting ready to come upon you is for a radical change. Can I prophesy one last thing to you? The results that you had the last three years, you will see them no more. Look at somebody say revolution is here. What do you mean? It's about to be a change in the results. It's about to be a change in your systems. It's about to be a change in your operation. It's about to be a radical change everywhere you go. Listen to me. The day of normal, the day of regular, the day of familiar, it is broken off of you. Some of you, you're so close to that. Well, if it's not what I'm used to, I can't do it. Can I tell you something? What God's about to do in your life, you have never ever seen before. What God's about to take you, you have never Never, ever been before where God's about to open up doors for you you have never been before can I prophesy I want to prophesy to every entrepreneur every entrepreneur I dare you to get up and start walking because you're about to walk into new contracts you're about to walk into new boardrooms you're about to walk in I said every entrepreneur you better get up and walk because you've got to walk into a whole new dimension of something one two three get up and walk in this place because you're walking in it walking in it Stay open. Oh, oh, I shake it. Now I dare everybody in this building Get on your feet Stand all over this house Grab your neighbor's hand And say neighbor There's about to be an outbreak Everywhere you go The spirit of revolution The spirit of reformation And the spirit of revival Is upon you today the spirit of revolution, the spirit of reformation, and the spirit of revival is about to hit your house. It's about to hit your business. I command the sudden outbreak of the Holy Ghost and power. Everything you touch will be supernaturally different. Everywhere you walk will be supernaturally different. I dare you to touch three people around you and say the outbreak is here. The outbreak is here. The outbreak is here. The outbreak is here. I look.
loose an anointing for change. I loose an anointing for new beginnings. I loose an anointing for new progress. Look at somebody. Say, neighbor, I come to prophesy. Tell them the next seven months will be seven months of new growth, of new progression, and new development. I speak it over you. Everything you touch, new growth, new development, new progress, new growth, new development, new progress. I lose your hands to cause things to grow. I dare you to touch somebody. Say, I speak increase on you. dare you get out of your seat and lay hands on somebody say increase overflow shall be thy portion increase overflow shall be thy portion so i come to tell transformation church take over take over take over miami take over Fort Lauderdale, take over. Palm Beach, take over. Miami Gardens, take over. Palm Beach County, take over. Texas, take over. California, take over. New York, take over. Look at somebody, say take over. We are about to take over. Everywhere we go, take over. Everywhere we touch, take over. Everything we do, take over. When I count to three, I dare you to get going. I take over, praise. One, two, three, get it. Say, neighbor, say, I prophesy everywhere you go, you're going to take over. Everything you touch, the favor of God is on you. Do the impossible. Do what you've never done. I command you to rise up in boldness. I command you to rise up in power. I command you to rise up in authority. Shake that city, shake that industry, shake that city, shake that industry, shake that city, shake that business. I dare you to open your mouth and roar. Yeah. Grab your neighbor, say neighbor, you can't settle. You can't settle. You can't settle. I disrupt your flow. You will not settle for normal. You will not settle for regular. But you will receive the supernatural. Supernatural result. Supernatural activity. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural possibility. When I count to three, open your mouth and shout supernatural. One, two, three, shout. Everybody standing, get your neighbor, get your neighbor quickly. Grab that neighbor, grab that neighbor, grab that neighbor. Say neighbor, I activate. Say neighbor, I activate. I activate the anointing for supernatural results in your life. Nothing about you will be regular. Nothing about you will be ordinary. Nothing about you will be predictable. You will do what has never been done. You will go where they have never gone before. You are a trailblazer. You are a pioneer. You are a trailblazer. You are a pioneer. Say, I activate it. Come on. Say, I got that body and control. Activate it. Look at 
in that name and say, I activate a trailblazing anointing. I activate a pioneering anointing. Do what ain't never been done. I rebuke that invitation spirit. I rebuke that copycat. You're not a copycat. You're an original. I activate the new. I activate the new. I activate the new. Somebody touch five people say new, new, new.
to a neighbor, say, neighbor, say, this is a reason to dance. This is a reason to celebrate. Hear this, prophet Erica. The Lord said to me, your season of vacillation is over. What do you mean? One month you're good, three months you're down. One month you're up, another week you're down. The Lord said no more vacillation. God said these next seven months will be seven months of sustainable victory, sustainable opportunity, and sustainable possibility. God said what I give you, you won't lose it this time. Where I take you, you won't back up this time. The Lord said you're going into seven months of sustainable victory. Now when I count to three, give them a crazy pray. One, two, one, two, three. Get your hands up. I prophesy the next seven months, sustainable increase. What it would take you to make in two years, you'll make in the next seven months. What it would take to make in two years, you'll make in the next seven months. What it would take to make in two years, you will make the next seven months. Every entrepreneur, give God a crazy praise, because I'm bringing you to sustainable growth. I did. walk through you should have walked away from the church you should have walked away from everybody people you thought you trusted people you thought had your back they turned on you but I hear the Lord say I had to take you to a new place I had to take you to an unfamiliar place so that you could really grow and now the Lord says I'm getting ready to allow you to one word blossom what's in you don't blossom but it will not blossom behind another man I gave you your own mantle I gave you your own ministry I gave you your own business God said that's why I took you from the familiar to the unfamiliar to open up new territory the Lord says it's okay you can leave Florida there's more for you there's more for you I don't know why I hear this but I hear the West is calling I hear the West is calling you the Lord said you got to release go ahead and go I dare somebody help a praise him right there Masterpiece. You are your own masterpiece. You are your own masterpiece. And what your daddy has, I'm gonna double it for you, saith the Lord. Oh, I dare somebody open your mouth and say, double, 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 double the influence, double the impact, double the favor, double. I dare you to get out of your seat and hit five people and say, double, 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 double. Hear 
the spirit of the Lord say? They're going to pay you for your mind. They're going to pay you for your mind. New York is calling you. California is calling you. No more fear. No more fear. No more head. Lay your hands, Cam, lay your hands on her feet. Lay your hands on her. I loose your feet to soar. I loose your feet to soar. I loose your feet to walk in new doors. The Lord said the setback that you experienced six months ago, it's broken off of your life today. Somebody help a praise everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is her name? What's her name? What's her last name? Renita Smith, welcome to Forbes magazine. Welcome, I just saw your name. Renita Smith, Forbes magazine, one of the most influential black women in America. I dare somebody jump up and give God a dumb praise right here. church apostle Guillermo Maldonado 2006 2007 I preached all of their youth conferences their camps I'm a small guy from a storefront church out of Ohio I moved to Florida went from a storefront church to a mega church at Bishop Harold Ray I didn't know nothing about mega church I didn't know nothing about mega conferences I didn't know nothing about all of that new stuff that I do now. But the Lord took me from the storefront to the mega. When I heard the Lord say, look at the prophet. He said, put your cloak on. He said, and then put it on her. Because I'm taking her from small to mega. And I ain't just talking about mega church. I see you on CNN telling your story. I see you on Fox selling your book. And the Lord said, what's going on in your husband's body is broken now. Oh, Shelaya, Shelaya. You don't need a new house, but God said, because you've been so good, I just got to give you your dream home. I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you because you've been faithful. I literally, Prophet Erica, I literally went from preaching to 100 people to 5,000 people overnight. God said, I'm going to do it for you and I'm Caesar. Holes! I dare somebody jump up and give God a crazy praise. say 50 pounds is getting ready to come off of you because you're about to travel more than you've ever traveled. You're about to go more. And the Lord said it's going to be supernatural. 
I lost 40 pounds last year, supernatural. I don't know how I did it. Went to the doctor. Doctor said, I don't know how you lost it. It was supernatural. I lose supernatural weight loss on you right now. That pain, if you want to lose weight, start dancing because it's getting ready to fall off. I just grind it up. I dare you to lay hands on somebody and say, be healed now. There it is. There. Open the door for y'all to move. God say, get ready to move. financial struggle off of all three of y'all family lines. Spirit of poverty, break now. That's one. Come on. Two. Go move. Give me all these because you're going to need them all. boxes up. Father, within the next 60 days, do it. No struggle, no strain, no worry. I command those boxes to be filled, you to move in new places, 
and pay less than what they're asking for as a prophet of God, and it is so in Jesus' name. Now, everybody that need to move, you celebrate with them because I lose it on y'all. struggle no more. Every person that's been struggling financially, when I count the three, shall break through seven times. And on the seventh time, give God a crazy praise that you're going to have a major financial breakthrough within the next 17 days. One, two, three, shout. Then give him a crazy praise. off of you. You will not mishandle. You will not misappropriate the release of the Lord. Say, Father, I repent for where I mishandled, misappropriated my money. Today, in Jesus' name, give me another chance. You can trust me this time. I won't misuse it and I won't abuse it. In Jesus' name, now give him a crazy praise because wealth is being released over the next uh, I said give him a crazy praise. Whatever you have your wallet, whatever you have your money on your phone, hold it up. Renita, somebody pull Renita out here. Come here. I don't ever remember doing this, but take a leap around this building, take a lap around this building, because y'all just met your first billionaire. Billionaire, I said billionaire. If you want to make more money, you better run with them, run with them.
lady in the red. Come here. Come here, mother. I need two more boxes. Yeah, I'm about to go buy y'all some boxes tomorrow. I need two more boxes. The Lord says your struggle has come up before him. Struggle no more. Bring me another box. I speak over you. Every struggle that you've been in is broken off of you. The Lord says double income. He said, I'm about to double your income. I'm about to double your income. Everything you touch, I dare somebody come up here and rejoice with her and shout double, 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 double. to blow your mind and give you something dumb because you've been faithful. You didn't move and God said, I'm going to open the door that you don't deserve to show you that I'm God and I got your back. Somebody rejoice with him because God got to blow his mind. Somebody got to rejoice. Hold your wallet up. Hold your wallet up. Switzerland into your life. Pull it to you. The wealth of Switzerland. The wealth of Sweden. The wealth of Australia. The wealth of the United Kingdom. Call it. wallet up, lift that. Oh, I decree and declare millions, billions, and trillions be released in this house. Millions, billions, and trillions. When I count the three, give God the loudest shout you can give it. One, two, three, shout. Listen to me. 